I'm just going to get this smiley face here, which literally I made in Photoshop. I drew a yellow circle and then used the colon close bracket in a text box and rotated it to make a smiley face. I'll put this on my website to download if you'd like to use it, but you can create your own or download one from somewhere else if you like. I'm just going to line this up with the eye. I'm going to zoom in a bit. And then let's get a rough idea, that'll do. Now to make this smiley face move with your eye, we're going to use this little tool down here, this little pickwick I think is the technical term, and we're going to drag it down to the null object. And that should link the smiley face to the null object so you can so it should track. If we just play that through, you can see it's following it along. Now it's not going to be exactly perfect in every frame and you may have to go through and do a bit of frame by frame editing just to get it right and it's worth it in the end, trust me. The next thing we need to do to this smiley face is to add a mask so that we can get the shape of the eye correct and for blinking as well. I'm just going to make this null object invisible to go to that square and then select the smiley face layer. I'm also going to make that invisible so that when I draw my mask I can see the eye that I'm drawing to. And with the smiley face layer selected just click on the pen tool and you're able to just draw a mask. It doesn't have to be amazingly accurate. A few points and then finish that off. And then bring the smiley face back and you can see that it's masked it off there. Now with that selected I'm going to press the M key twice, which will open up the mask options. I'm just going to set the feathering to 20 pixels, just to make it blend a bit better. And there we, you can see it fits a bit better in. Also, you might want to change the opacity down to about 70%. And as you can see, the mask doesn't fit all the way through. So we're going to go to the start of the video and we're just going to zoom in so we can get a, a more accurate view and we're going to click this where it says math mask path. Click the stopwatch to set a keyframe and one way you can do this if you hold down the command key or control on a PC and the right arrow you can just skip through frame by frame. You can see that one's totally off. And you can just do this all the way through and you can see where the different sort of where you need to change your mask. Like there for instance, the tracker has probably just gone off slightly because the eye is closed and it lost what it was trying to track. Now to rectify this, if you go down to the null object and select that, with then use the I usually use the arrow keys because it because it's easier. And you can just move the null object because that's what the tracker point saved to the null object. So this way, we're not actually moving the smiley face, we're moving the null object, which moves the smiley face. And then just click on that and we can just change this mask, and just line it up. Now one thing I've noticed while doing this is as the eye blinks, even though the frames don't always have the eye closing completely, it's always a good idea to have the smiley face disappearing because it's being yellow, it's quite bright, and you kind of expect that the eye will, that it will disappear at some point. Now then I just clicked the null object and just moved that across as, just to line it up a bit better and then clicked on the smiley face layer again to move the mask. Now I'm not going to do this for the entire movie because that will probably take a very long time but I'm just going to do a few just to show you like there frames don't seem to change but the tracker has moved and the null object has moved so I'm just going to just go from like frame to frame just checking that try and get these in the right place that's not so bad and then you can just go through at your your will, your leisure, and just move these into place. 
and change the mask as well as you go along. And you might think this is a terrible thing you do, you may as well just put it in frame by frame, but with the tracking you will get some points where like long periods of time where you don't have to change the mask and that's the point of doing the tracking. Like this. That's fine. And so we just zoom out and see what that looks like now. That's pretty cool. There's a blink there. I might just show you how to do that blink. If we just move through frame by frame. Now, one tip I'd like to share with you is that we need to move, change the mask there. But we're going to go here where the, the mask is, the fit's okay. And I'm just going to change it slightly. And the reason I do that is because that will set a keyframe there. When we go here and we change the mask again, if we don't set that keyframe just before, then all of this space here, it will or After Effects will automatically fill in the missing keyframes on morphing the mask to look from its previous position into that one, and you'll slowly get the mask closing over time when you don't want it to, and it. I couldn't figure out why it did it for a very long time, but it it annoyed me quite a lot. And then I just discovered it's because it was doing that sort of fitting in the missing keyframes. Here we go. We just sort of close it down slightly. And then again, I'm just going to close it off completely here by just literally closing up the mask. And the same there. And then here we go. It's opened up again. So I can just open out the mask. A bit more. There you can see it's moved off slightly, so I'm just going to move the null object a bit. And the longer you spend tracking the object and changing the tracker, the less time you'll have to spend moving bits on the null object. I'm just sort of whizzing through quite fast just so I can get you the basics down. And then I'm just going to move the null object again. And that's pretty much it. This is how you create your smiley eye effect. Just by doing this. And it's like flicking from frame to frame, correcting anything. And um, in true Blue Peter style, here's one I made earlier. And this is actually just the intro that you watched earlier. And then here, I just turned off the thing and then moved the smiley face to the other side. Using the same trackering and everything, it works. It's just over there. And it took a bit of correction, but it was fine. I've been Adam from DoJanoDrama.com and I've just shown you how to make a smiley face in your eye. <laughs>